started and counted it all up, and they got little things that say this is the life expectancy and da 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 da, and they st strategically arrange all their programs like that, including retirement. Okay, one more mountain to climb, one more river to cross. Okay, that means that that also talk about uh, our vision of a wonderful future, glorious future. Uh, to continuously think like that, you cannot allow the people that you're dealing with to set your mind. You can't allow them, we can't allow the system that we're working against to do things in our life. Like right now, if we've said we're gonna, going to go to another level, well, that means boss man going to be here all this time. Like he's, he's up and around, excuse me, right now trying to reshape our thinking. Like we do him, he, he trying to do the same thing to us. And remember, he has more practice at doing this to Negroes and other conditioning their mind to fit into his program, to know how to divert them from their program, to use up all their energy where they, they become tired because they divert them to move in a direction that they want them to go in. His direction. And they divert us so that we go away from what we are trying to do or should do and go toward what he wants us to go, which is useless. So this one more mountain to climb, one more river to cross, should be the barriers that we uh, analyze that are barriers to progress. Not him. And we don't allow him or them or whatever it is we're talking about to, like, we shape and herd him, herd him. He don't shape and herd us. See, like, like now, he gets some misunderstanding from somewhere, like, oh, I'm going to mislead you by doing such and such a thing. Well, we tell him, no, you ain't going to mislead us, boss man. I'm sorry about that. No, we're not going to do that. You're not going to mislead nobody. You don't run nothing. Especially now. See, so remember, keep score. You have to keep score of how many times we come to bat and what we do when we come up. That means you have to keep uh, eye on our forecasting, you know what I mean? Our process of development and deliverance of what we're talking about. You got to keep score. And then you got to keep score of him too. See, boss man, if he didn't had five big fights recently, he ain't won none of them. In fact, he lost all of them. He lost in Korea, lost in Vietnam. Right? Technically, he lost in Iraq. Now, they killed tons of our people, but they still lost. America, the only people gained was the, the people that have all the money anyway. Now, the American people went over there and died, and they came back here. They're trying to help them a little bit now, but they came back here crazy. Right? And, and the other boss man's people, just the other police shot the other people. And pretty soon they said, wait a minute. We have 22 people, something like that, dying every day. Most of them are vet out of veterans. Right? That's the statistics. So what are we? Okay. So uh, we all have some relatives as veterans. Well, they're looking out for us now. It's about time. You know, it's about time. Uh, how many of your friends are them still alive running around here? You run over there, you know, now you're in your 40s and 
could be 50s. What's happening now? How many of them are out there homeless? How many the homeless people are vets? How many people in treatment are vets? And the vets went over there to fight for who? It's, I'm sorry to say it's the same old story. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. And now in America it's visible, it's visible that the rich, can you turn the heat down just a pinch? Uh, yeah. Or off for a minute. We'll need it back in a hot minute after that. So the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. And here we are trying to reach out to the people. That means we have to keep a good control of our thinking so that we don't begin to think of the people that we're trying to help as the problem. You know, I remember uh, one of the brothers who was in the Islamic party was telling uh, when a lot of they got some money from Gaddafi and stuff like that, they were doing cabs, you know, a lot of stuff like that. So uh, the leadership came to the conclusion because the Negro was working against them. And he said, well, we got to get out of here. And uh, so what would we want to do? Be a big fish in a small pond a little fish in a big pond, a big fish in a small... Yeah, in other words, if we go down to South Latin America, we can be big fish in a small pond. If we stay up here, which that's their mission. See, the so all the white man did was they had the thinking down, they had all that down, but they just didn't understand what boss man was going to do to them. So boss man run them off by harassing them. Well, we didn't have 50 times that much harassment, but we already know that that's what boss man do. If he, get, if he run you off down to the woods somewhere, he don't have to worry about you anymore. So he run you off. Divert you, your mission Call a Negro to Islam, establish Islamic presence in America, da 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 da. If you leave the mission, then boss man and one. So the old, I don't, I'm not going to call or make fun of boss man, but he have lost everything he's done to us. It just don't have no effect at all. Well, no, it's not. At all, yes, it has some little effect. But the longer we go, uh, we have writings like from 10 years ago that talked about the stage we call it deja vu. We've been here before. This is clear. Da, 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 da. That means 10 years ago, we was coming into where we are now. Yeah, 10 years ago. That's 2012. I was looking at the dates on... That's 2012. This is 2022, something like that, right? So we're on our own clock. If we was on their clock, that means we would be diverted and absorbed and fixing the things that do, da, 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 like that they want. Like if we just had to have cars to go on trips. Well, they just pull a thing. I don't know if anybody noticed, but all the cars that we have, we buy, then we sell them, they run like a watch. I'm telling you, it's unbelievable. Almost all of them. And all, everything out there, the truck, the this, that, and other, and uh, the little car that I drive, the little white one, we took it over to the Negro, and it lasted three or four days. If we'd have got out on the highway, it would have conked out as soon as we got out there. 
And when we bought it, if we'd have went out on the highway right then, looked like it was set to finish off in 100 or 200 miles. Whatever it was, you get out there, and then you have to do all of that uh, to come back. I didn't have cars. We'd go out, thing mess up. we got to come back, you know. And uh, no problem. But now we're not even allowed that stuff to happen. Why? Because we got our own program. So <laughs> we get a car, we're ready to go. And so they already set it to, to crack up within a certain amount of miles. And we change our mind and don't grow it. Don't go so it cracks up here. It ain't nothing. It's nothing at all. But I'm telling you, boss man is in trouble. Okay, now as we improve, you have to keep score. What does a score with boss man look like? God almighty. Look like he can't do, you know. <laughs> I think boss man can't do much right anymore. He's striking out every time he come to bet. He strikes out big time. Okay. So, next subject we're going to have uh, is on Bayer, on allegiance. Not like Bayer, standard attention, left face, right face, but a general commitment to what, uh, what we're doing during this period. A general uh, commitment. Uh, technically, uh, I don't like Bayer uh, in these modern times because I don't want people to have to lie, you know, like you know. one of the brothers, the Arab brothers came here a few years ago. Imam Musa, what do you want us to do with our Bayer? I said, Bayer, let me see, that was 2007 or 8, wasn't it? Last time I saw you. Yeah, last time I saw you was 2008, you know. I didn't tell him to stick his Bayer, Bayer and his behind and the whole crew. But what the heck is he doing out here? Ten years, that was probably 2000. Ten years after, you know, or more. more. What are you doing out here 12 years after and asking me about Bayer and I haven't talked to you in 12 years? <laughs> What's with that? You know, is it they wanted to re redistribute or do something dumb? And I said, no, don't worry about it. No. Whatever you got, you just keep it. So it's not a bay of standing at attention and this, that, and another. It's a, uh, a general commitment. Uh, new articles we'll be writing. Well, we already kind of outlined them. Complete our mission. Uh, and we have an evolving mission, too. So complete our mission this time mean that uh, that we develop our institutions and we develop ourselves to where we can do good for humanity, good for uh, our environment. Yeah, because our mission is bigger than just a little colloquial mission. Because of the If it was 50 or 60 years ago or more, if you rescued the Negro, that would be a great job. It's a great job. You get a medal, you rescue the Negro. But now, what about the climate? What about the water? What about it? They still got acid rain. Right now, you know, that rain come down and melt grace. <laughs> hey, man, any rain that'll knock over 
those gravestones, that's bad. That's serious rain, man. That strips the paint off your car. You see some cars with little white stuff like on the top. That mean the, but the sun mixing up with that rain in one or two years and started them spots on it. That mean now what is that? Why is the plants looking so ugly with all that water? Because uh, uh, boss man and smoked everything up and the rain coming down through that so. Today is not just to rescue a person or a people because the, the thing that's needed now, the, the world that's needed now is a harmonious world with mizan, with balance, with, with, with balance. Okay, so technically... Even when you focus on one group of people, you got to help everybody else.